Hey, welcome to the show. Today on the show, we're going to be talking about the four parts of a plant. What are you eating right there, Lucas? An apple. An apple. And I even got out a seed. A seed came from the middle of an apple. Seeds contain new plants. Some seeds form inside plant fruits, like apples, oranges, and pumpkins. Some seeds form on the outside, like sunflowers. Today we are going to be drawing a plant and labeling its parts. And of course, we're going to be starting with a seed. First of all, have your paper like the shower way. This is called the shower way, and this is called the bathtub way. So we're going to have our papers on our desk or our table like a shower, the long way. So Lucas is putting the seed right there, and I'm going to draw the ground. Here's the ground, the earth, the dirt. This is the dirt, this is the land. Exactly. So if we want to plant something, we need to put our seed in the, the dirt. dirt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this seed right here. Place it. There. So when you put a seed into the earth and it receives water, what starts to grow? Um, roots. Roots. So right now what we're going to do is draw some roots on our seed. I, hey, I get another, I help I get another seed. Roots are very important to the structure of a plant. Roots absorb water and minerals to help the plant grow. The roots are what holds the plant in the ground. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to label the seed. So I'm going to write the word seed, S-E-E-D, and kind of put a line to it. So that's our seed. And these are our roots. Roots. Now do you know what comes out of the seed and starts to grow out of the ground? Um. The plant, yes, the plant will start to grow out of the ground, but there's something that holds the plant. It's very important. Um, a stem. A stem. So we're going to draw a stem coming out of the ground like this. So we will label this stem, S-T-E-M and draw a little arrow to the stem. Stems support the leaves and flowers and carry water and nutrients to the rest of the plant. And out of the stem will be... Leaves! Leaves. This is where photosynthesis happens. It is the process of which plants make their own food. They need carbon dioxide, water, and sunlight. The leaves capture the sunlight. So we'll put a leaf right here. And we'll put another leaf right here. And you can even put a little line down here to add a little texture to it. Wait a second. I can have more seeds. You're having fun finding seeds in your apple, aren't you? I bet I can break this part and get all the seeds out. So we'll make our stem grow up here a little bit taller. Do you know what is on top of the stem? A flower! That's right. We're going to draw the flower now on top of our stem. The flower, this is the part of the plant that makes the seeds. Flowers come in all different colors and shapes to attract birds and insects. For example, a bee will transfer pollen from one flower to another. Pollen causes plants to form seeds. So I'm going to draw a circle right here. Hmm? And then little boops, boops, boops. Do you know what these are called right here? Um, petals. 
That's right, they're called petals. The petal is the colored part of the flower. So I just can come out here and you will see all types of neat little designs on flowers. The petals will be different colors. Different shapes. Different shapes. So you can't go wrong when you draw the petals on your flowers. So you can label this petal. Petal. P. Like. E. Like, T. Like. You know K the... L and this part is the flower. Petals are like petals are like the petals you bought when on your bike. That's right. <laughs> a bike has petals that make it go. Well, a flower has a petal with a T. I like to always put a little line in my drawings just to kind of give it a little dimension. I find drawing the parts of a plant, you seem to remember it better. So now we have our plant labeled. So a plant starts out as a seed, as a baby plant. And then it grows roots. Then it grows roots. And then it grows a stem. Okay. And then it grows the leaves. Leaves. And what are the leaves used for? What do they... What are they? they feed the plant. And where do they get the food to feed the plant? The sunlight. The sunlight. So we need to draw a sun up here. Let's make this a happy sun. Those are cartoon suns. <laughs> cartoon sun. I think any time the sun is out, I am happy. Because the leaves out light. Yes, and so the leaves get their energy from the sun. Mm -hmm. And what does the stem support? The leaves and the flower. It supports the leaves and the flower. Excellent, Lucas. Hey, thanks a lot for watching the show today. I hope you learned a couple things about plants and having fun drawing the different parts of a plant. Lucas is having a fun time with his apple and discovering new seeds in there. So I hope you're having a fun day today and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.